If you could choose any player that is still playing to return and line out for your club, who would you choose? Let's have a rundown of the Premier League clubs and pick which former player would be best suited for them right now. And no, loan deals do not count. But seeing as how this video is a part one, we're just going to look at the first 10 teams in alphabetical order, but check back in tomorrow for part two. Arsenal, Cesc Fabregas. So when he's not chucking pizzas at old men, Cesc Fabregas is actually a quality player. Having arrived in North London in 2003 as a 16 year old, the Spaniard played over 300 times for the Gunners before departing for Barcelona in 2011. Considering he's currently kissing the badge of the enemy, winning titles down the road at Stamford Bridge, he's pretty much burned his Arsenal ties, but how would they could do with a player of his class in the middle of the park right now? What do you think lads, go back three years, should you have taken up your first option to sign him? Bournemouth, Matt Ritchie. Considering Bournemouth are stuck in the relegation zone and look short on goals or any real creative spark, remember when Jordan Ibe was supposed to be the next Raheem Sterling, the Cherries could really do with Matt Ritchie back. He scored 15 goals during their promotion winning season and played all but two league games in their first top flight season. He bagged 16 goals for Newcastle last season and already has four assists this term. Brighton, Leonardo Ujoa. You look at the Brighton squad and their only fit striker is big Glenn Murray. Good lord, that just screams relegation, doesn't it? Now, I'm not saying Leonardo Ujoa is a world beater, but he is a Premier League winner. Then again, so is Luke Chadwick. Ujoa bagged 26 goals across two seasons for Brighton and has never let the Foxes down whenever given a chance. Burnley, Kieran Trippier. Burnley have let some decent players go in recent years, but Kieran Trippier has recently gone from strength to strength lately. Kyle Walker has left Spurs, but nobody at the club seems to have noticed. Trippier provides a real threat from the right back slot, whipping balls in for Kane, which he gratefully gobbles up. Chelsea, Kevin De Bruyne. If Chelsea needed a reminder of what they missed out on by letting Kevin De Bruyne slip through their fingers, letting him leave for Wolfsburg after just three league games, it was served up in their last match, with the Belgian firing home the winner for Man City at Stamford Bridge. The lad is arguably the Premier League's best player. What was Jose Mourinho thinking? If you were to slot De Bruyne into midfield alongside compatriot Eden Hazard, the duo would be unstoppable. Crystal Palace, Dwight Gale. All right, considering Dwight Gale is finding it difficult to dislodge Hazelou, a man who can't seem to score unless the defender kicks it off his ankles, maybe Crystal Palace fans are underwhelmed by this one. Here's the facts though. You haven't scored a goal all season, Christian Benteke is out for six weeks, and you're linked with Carlton Cole. Gale finished as Palace's top scorer two years running, they could do with him back. Everton, Romelu Lukaku. Speaking of teams who need goal scorers, Ronald Koeman might have thought he just had a great transfer window, despite losing Romelu Lukaku to Manchester United. The only thing is, he signed about seven number 10s and no real striker. If you were expecting Wayne Rooney to deliver the goods, Lads, you can barely hold his personal life together at the minute, so that might be wishful thinking. Put Lukaku, a man who bagged more than 15 goals in each of his five seasons at Goodison Park, in that side, and you can bet they wouldn't be languishing down near the bottom of the table. Huddersfield, Danny Ward. No, I'm not talking about the goalkeeper who spent last season on loan from Liverpool. The original Danny Ward is a 26 year old winger who spent four years at town before leaving for Rotherham in 2015. Quick, nimble and with an eye for goal, he'd certainly provide competition for Tom Ince, a man who Premier League clubs keep persisting with, presumably because he had a dad who was once half decent. Leicester City, N'Golo Kante. Oh come on, you could have guessed this one, right? N'Golo Kante spent one season at Leicester City and won the league. He went straight to Chelsea and did the exact same thing. The Foxes are nowhere near the same team that romped the title two years ago and would kill to have the Frenchman back in their midfield. The fact that Danny Drinkwater has also left the club for Chelsea means that Andy King, a man who actually started his career at Stamford Bridge, is featuring a hell of a lot more and that is certainly not inspiring as far as their top half hopes go. Liverpool, Luis Suarez. Alright, so Liverpool's problems definitely exist in defence, but let's not forget that the club don't actually have an out and out number nine, which is only going to become more problematic as the season whittles on. I mean, I'm not really counting a past in Daniel Sturridge, a 20 year old Dominic Solanke and a Danny Ings who seems to be lost down the back of the couch somewhere. Luis Suarez is arguably the world's greatest number nine. If the Reds had him right now they'd arguably have the most fearsome forward line in England. But then you'd remember that they have Lovren and Matip in defence. Defenders who seem to have forgotten how to clear a damn ball and so it wouldn't really matter. So maybe instead of Suarez should have just said, oh, I don't know, Mabadou Sacco? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.